All right, guys, so with EQ Holder coming closer and closer to its end, we have chapter 190. Tota and Negi reach out for each other's hands, agreeing to work together as they shake hands. Negi comments on how cool Tota's armor is before sneezing it off like he has many girls' clothes. Suddenly, they start to feel shaking from the perfected cosmos going off, and Earth is almost in range of it. Negi reassures Tota that it's not too late and they still have time. Do you remember those keys to Kimei's soul from the previous chapter? Well, it's revealed that the one in Kuromaru is actually a fake and the real one is in Hanoka and Isana who are currently trying to escape. Negi says if they get 100 kilometers away from the major beginning, then the plan will stop working and the spell will collapse on itself and Toto wants to rush and help them but Negi stops him asking him for his answer referring back to the moment in chapter 137. Meanwhile with the major beginning hanging Tota's crew like trophies they notice that one of the keys is fake because something is off. The major beginning realizing Yuhime got her way again decides to get up and retrieve the real key herself. Isana and Hinoka remember when Yukihime came up to them with this countermeasure in case of the worst case scenario. Now they're being chased intensely. Hinoka tells Isana not to look back or else she'll be paralyzed in fear and the rest of the Major Beginning's forces catch up as the Major Beginning starts to charge up a beam until she notices something in the far distance which is Negi launching one of his signature moves while Tota gets the girls. Negi makes it known that he's here to stop the major beginning and she ends up shedding a tear at the sight of Negi. Now whether that was the major beginning, Yukihime, or both, I guess doesn't really matter at this point. Negi tells Tota to go since he'll handle this and as the two clash, we see just how powerful these two are. Tota and the girls get just about 100 kilometers away but then they're suddenly attacked as the number of foes keeps increasing and it looks like it's over for them. But that's when assistance comes in the form of Gingaro and Jembe, followed by Nikit who's finally doing something, Sept and Juzo. At the sight of this, Jack comments on how this job isn't that fun, but this moment at the very least might. Sep tells Tota that he has the ability to turn people into light so he can send them to Earth within a short amount of time, but Tota has another plan in mind before even trying that. Summoning Santa, Karin, and Kurumaru, he tells them his secret plan. After hearing this, Kurumaru realizes Tota's face doesn't accurately reflect how he's feeling or what he's saying, telling him he doesn't have to bear all this alone, and the others agree. Tota also gives Santa some encouraging words about the whole Iku incident, saying they need to move forward. Tota taking the form that he took when he went to subdue the eye control Kuromaru a few arcs ago, dashes off, leaving the others to find a struggling Negi who is now facing not just one strong opponent but two strong opponents. Now having to contend with the forces of Nagi Springfield and a transformed major beginning in Yukihime's body. Seeing this, Tota with a tear in his eye and Negi have to raise themselves for this final battle with two people that mean a lot to them. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to know where I find these chapters, then you can check out Comixology. The chapters usually come out on the 8th or the 9th of every month, and that is where you can buy the chapters and view them legally with good quality, as well as check out some of the volumes if you are interested. Have a great day. Tell me guys saw the chapter and I'll see you next time.